Hello, it's time for another day of pips. Let's start off with the easy puzzle. See how today's domino placing exercise goes. We've got a one, which means it's got to be the one. That's fine. We've got equals, which are zeros. And then we've got, yeah, 18, which needs to be three sixes. This is very straightforward today. There we go. Nine seconds. Um, let's move on to medium and see how this one goes. Okay, so we need a 12 that will consist of two sixes, which we have in separate dominoes. Um, we can't, so yeah, we can't put the six domino going off that way because that will obstruct the greater than two. So, um, so I'll just put it there. It needs to be there, I think. And then we can put in, that's interesting that we have, we're going to have one with no specification at all in this kind of Eastern peninsula. So we've got an equals containing five of the same, which looks like... Um, oh, maybe the 6, 1 actually does need to go down because I think 1 is going to be our, our 5. Sorry, 1. <laughs> I need better terminology for these. The 1 pip is going to need to fit our 5 quantity region. There we go. That's what I can say. So that means we need a double 1 here. And then we need a 1 and a less than 5 to go up here. We need a 1 and an anything and then a six and a something. So the six and the something goes here to finish the 12. That means the one and the something goes there. That's the only place that can go. And then greater than two up here, greater than four down there. The only greater than four remaining is a five. So that goes there, which means we need a three to go in the greater than two and a completely blank cell goes in an unspecified area appropriately enough. So there's the medium puzzle. Great. Let's try hard. See how this one goes. Does this fit? Yes, it does fit on the screen. So we've got two zeros, which will need to be uh, made up of two separate dominoes. Uh, so yeah, we only have two dominoes with empty halves. So what else do we have? We have a six. So we have three orientation possibilities for that one. Uh, there's a five. How many fives do we have? We have two possibilities there, another six. A two. We have several possibilities for that. Okay, and we've got a five quantity region. Equal, sorry, an e five equals quantity, which means we need five instances of five. Sorry, we need five instances of something. I'm losing my mind. I apologize. Uh, what do we have five of? We have five one pips. And I think that's it. I think the one pips are our only five possibilities, five quantity possibilities. So we need to get those in there. Uh, how do I begin this? Um, I think what I'm going to do is use this five and zero for the zero quantity to preserve our extra, the, the, five, the five instances of one pips that we have that will need to go in this equals section up here which means the other zero goes here and inserts that very one pip into the five quantity equals, which means then we have to put the double one in that region to maintain that. Okay, so there we go. That was, that was productive. So now the six will point down into an equals segment. Now, we can't use the double six for that because then we'd need to put our a third six in the other half of the equals, and that wouldn't leave a six down in this uh, kind of southeastern peninsula there, which means we're going to put the six and four domino into the equals section. So the other one will be a four, and uh, we'll come back to that. But we only have one five left, so that will go into this five, which now determines that this two quantity equals will need to be filled with two pips. And um, we don't have a two pip and a one, so it can't be pointing down, which needs means it needs to be pointing horizontally, which means we'll need a two and a four, which fortunately we have. Okay, so now we still need the ones. The ones, can, we don't have a double one pip, which means, again, they'll need to be, at least one of them needs to be pointing vertically. And the vertical one will go into the greater than three, which means we need the one and four domino. 
So now we cannot put the last one pip into the equals vertically because that would create an unfillable southern peninsula section here. So we will put it horizontally. We now must place these twos here and these sixes go here. Unfortunately, that all works. And there we go. So that was the set of three pips today. That was the hard puzzle, definitely harder than the other two, um, but came together fairly deterministically. At least it felt that way once we started getting things in the grid. And there we go. That's another day of pips. Hope you enjoyed it. Probably back tomorrow. Bye for now.